Hey everybody, my name is David Dyke and I'm an advisory solution consultant with ServiceNow. And I'm gonna go through a quick tutorial today on how to discover your vCenter environment. We're gonna move pretty quickly in our ability to do this. And we're gonna see exactly what information ServiceNow can provide you within minutes by just discovering your vCenter environment. I've got a fairly clean instance of ServiceNow that we're gonna work with today. And just to kind of set where we're at, you can see we've got 23 configuration items in our system currently. Any relationships. I've already gone ahead and set up a mid server that's in the same environment. It's actually running on my vCenter, and we'll see that. And I've also gone ahead and activated the discovery plugins. You can request those from the support portal, and you're going to need those in order to run your discovery. To discover a vCenter environment, we're going to need the vCenter credentials. So very quickly, I have two examples of the credentials here. One is the traditional username and password. And I've actually deactivated those credentials because I'm going to use an external credential store. I have this instance of ServiceNow synchronized with CyberArk, which is providing my credentials. They're under the ID vCenter. And since I've checked the external credential store box, ServiceNow is configured to go ask CyberArk for the vCenter credentials. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do a new discovery schedule. And I'll call this vCenter discovery. There's a few options, but in this case, I'm gonna discover configuration items. I'm gonna select a specific mid server. I only have one configured, it's the dbd3 underscore mid server. And I have a location configured. I think it's David's house, yes. And I'll go ahead and hit submit. I'll go back into the discovery. And I need to tell ServiceNow what IP address the vCenter is located at. One easy way to do that is with quick ranges. And I could enter more, but the key here is to only discover one IP address of our vCenter and see what information we can get back. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the ranges. You can see that it's created now. And my scan is set for on demand. I will go ahead and discover now. It should take about a minute to discover. So I'm actually gonna wait live just so we can see how long it takes. We can see that ServiceNow is creating a discovery log. It's noting what devices it finds. It's creating an ECC queue. And we'll go ahead and refresh. And our discovery has actually been completed. Twenty-eight seconds. So let's go ahead and look at our previous tables. In our CI relationships, we now have 139. And our configuration items, 
we have 98. In 28 seconds, ServiceNow was able to figure out all of this. One of those should be called David's House, the data center. And let's go ahead and look at this data, VMware data center configuration item. It has relationships with almost everything that ServiceNow discovered. So this list is nice, but it's a little hard to visualize. So let's go ahead and bring up our dependency map. And I'm going to zoom in because there's so much going on in the vCenter. But we can see our vCenter instance with our data center, an ESX server, the virtual machines, the distributed ports, our data stores, our network adapters, and everything that's else that is going on in vCenter. ServiceNow was able to create this map in under 30 seconds. Thank you all for watching my video, and please stay on the alert for future videos that I might be able to put out.